What's up YouTube, it's Anthony Streams, and I'm gonna show you a way that you can level up very early in Elden Ring. And it'll make you strong enough to get through Limgrave with almost no issues. So stay tuned. So as you can see, I'm here very, very early into Limgrave. This is where the game first starts you out once you get into the open world of the game. It's at the very beginning, so if you're still in Limgrave, even if you're not, uh, this will help you so much. It's gonna get you so much room, you're gonna be able to level up that Limgrave won't be an issue for you at all. Okay, so the only thing that you're going to need to do this is a weapon, which you start out with, of course, and torrent, your your means of transportation. Uh, and I'm going to show you how to do that just in case you haven't gotten it. If you're at the very beginning and you haven't found torrent, um, I'm going to show you how to do that. So we're starting out here in the Church of Ellie, and then we're just going to go north. Okay, once you get north, you're going to see this little area right here. There's a lot of things to fight in there and uh you might not want to deal with that right now so maybe go all the way to your right and you're gonna see a grace right across the street there just go right to that grace now once you sit at this grace you're gonna get this little cutscene here um and she's gonna give you torrent and you'll be good to go as far as torrent goes Thanks. So at this point, she's just ages, wanting to be your maiden. Your search for the you need only take to the foot of the earth tree. Then it's settled. Just go ahead and accept Summon her. Summon me by grace. Ah, I bequeath. And here you go. You're going to get the spectral steed whistle. Has and so that's how we're going to get torrent. Um, at this point, you can now use your torrent. I'm actually going to put that in my pouch right now. It'll be right here, Spectral Steed Whistle. I got it in my pouch, so all I got to do is press uh, triangle, depending on what you're playing on, and hit right button, and now I got Torn. So while you're here, if you haven't already grabbed the map, go ahead and grab your map, which is right over here past these guys. You can run right past them, and your map is right here. There you go. And then just kind of bell out. Okay, so I went back to the Church of Ellie. And now that we got our map, we can open that up. And we are going to set a mark for right here. This is where you want to go. So I'm going to head right there. And we'll go from there. Okay, so I found this on accident. This is really a trap that you're going to. Uh, it's actually going to send you to the one of the hardest parts of the game, which is Kaelid. Um, but we're going to navigate through that. So you want to go find the stairs. Hopefully we find it before we die. Um, let's see. It's going to be some stairs you can go down. It's going to take you to a little downstairs area. You might have to just run around until you find it. Um, there's also a lot of items in this area. There it is, right here. Okay, so I'm going to get off Torrent. Oh, you're going to have to fight these stupid dogs. There's also rats in here. Where you want to go is inside this little room here. And you want to open this chest. And if I don't die, okay. And here we are. We are going to go to Caitlyn. Okay, so you're going to end up right here, and I'm telling you now, run for your life. Okay, so you're going to get out here and try to avoid these as best as you can because you are super underleveled for this area. Uh, the exit... There you go. But the exit is right down there to the bottom. So run down there where that little opening is at the very bottom of the screen there. Okay, so you want to run all the way down here, and you want to go in here, it's going to be a grace you can get. Go ahead and get your grace. So you are now in Caleb. And actually we're going to bring our map up. And we're going to get right here. And get the map for this area. That's where we want to be. Basically what you want to do is find your main road. 
Um, there's a map here we can grab. And that map there. We can get to all of those just by getting on the main road. So I'm going to set one here. You set it to whichever one you want to. Just try to find a way to get onto the main road. And uh, once you're on there, you should be able to find the maps fairly easily. Also on your way, make sure you're grabbing every grace that you can. Because like I said, you're super underleveled for this area. Um, and you would like to have somewhere to be able to, to be revived at if things go bad. Once you're on this main road, it is so much easier. As you can see, there are um, dragons, uh, but you can also see your... Oh, shit. Um, you can also see your maps right there from your, from your locations that you pointed. Um, there's our first map right there. We're going to grab it. And then there's another map the opposite way, so I gotta get turned around. So now I can see the other location that I put on the map, and I know this looks very difficult. Kaelin is a very weird place and hard to know your way around, and I know this video will be hard to keep up with what I'm doing, but if you find the main road uh, that I showed you on your map, it, it'll make life so much easier. So just see if you can get to your main road, and from there, life will be so much easier for you. Okay, so now that I got my second map, I'm going to grab it. Also be very careful because you are now in a den of dragons. Um, so get somewhere safe where you can pull your map out. For me, I'm going to go just right up here. So if you see this up here to your top right, you want to follow it down. Pass your little tree. And right down below that tree, you're going to see this little area right here. Zoom in and go ahead and put your mark for right there. Um, you can just follow the road right there. And if you are where um, we got that other map at, you know, um, you're just going to go down to the main road and just follow it. So place your mark and just go straight to it. Okay, so once you place your mark, uh, there are a lot of dragons here, so go to your grace. It's right over here by the building. And make sure you sit at it so those dragons don't chase you. Okay, and then here's going to be the big thing about this dragon. The dragon sitting right here will not attack you at all. Um, you want to make sure the side that the grace is on... You want to stay on this side of the dragon. Um, the other side, those dragons will attack you. Um, I believe this is the spot right here. Yes, okay. So what you want to do is just get to attacking right here. And you can see his little health bar going down.
So once you finally get it killed, you're going to get a dragon heart here. And it is actually 74,000 runes. So you got to 74,000 runes, you go up to this grace again. Um, you can level up your character. And you can finally teleport again. So you can go back to Limgrave and Limgrave will be so much easier for you. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you want to hang out with us live or on twitch.tv slash Anthony streams, uh, please leave a like and subscribe if this helped you in any kind of way. And I do apologize again for if you got a little lost in Kaelid, it's it's hard. It's, it's hard to navigate through Kaelid. It's meant to be hard, but just find the main road. And from there, life will be so much easier for you. But that's it for this video. And I will see you guys on the next one. Peace.